Before I begin, I would like to first thank everyone who watched my previous video and gave me their blessing along with their kind words. You guys took the time out of your day to listen to me vent and I'm forever grateful to you guys, so thank you. With my thank yous out of the way, I thought it was necessary to make an update as to the situation with my mother and expressing my thoughts on doctors and prescription drugs. I'm happy to say that my mother is back to her old self, relaxing, safe at home. So I thank the Lord she is with us today. Her throat is still sore and dry, even though she's taking name, name brand uh, throat loungers and drinking liquids and hot soup and lemon and that sort of thing. Other than that, I'm at ease. She doesn't have to suffer with a tube down her throat into both of her lungs and that's the, and that's another thing that what bothers me is that me and my father assumed that it was only one tube but I guess the doctors and the nurses forgot to tell us that and after that has happened my faith in doctors has kind of dwindled because this medication I don't know the exact name of it but it almost killed my mother. It was it was for it was supposedly for blood pressure, but one of the side effects was um, swelling, which caused um, some type of reaction in her throat. I don't know. So, and I will continue to say it, but I think the Lord. For blessing my mother with keen instincts to go to the emergency ward. Because my mother told me herself that once she first started feeling the small lump in her throat, something within her said to get, get it checked out immediately. She was going to take a nap, but she couldn't sleep. And then the lump started to get worse, and then she said, you know what, let me go to the emergency ward, because... I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm glad that she did so as I was saying before doctors are people that I can no longer trust anymore and it bothers me to this day that my mother was on medication for was on his medication for a year and the family doctor that prescribed her the medication did not do a follow-up he didn't ask her any questions if she was experiencing any type of like side effects from the medication or nothing like that so on a day that my father and me were helping her pack you know we were all discussing our thoughts about this medication and we agreed that it should be banned now you know the side effect for the swelling is random you can take this medication for years for years and nothing will happen to you all of a sudden you'll experience the um, swelling and from what I've heard from nurses and doctors they were saying that um, I could it affects people differently so it's at random but we still agreed that this is a medication that should be banned I mean it's just like I said this is supposed to be for your blood pressure but yet it can kill you it's still dangerous so I'm actually glad this happened and I'm not not in the aspect of you know my mother could have died her throat was swelling but in the fact that you know we all have made an oath to take better care of ourselves by using you know natural remedies and not rely heavily on prescription drugs And at the time, I was already 
doing my best to maintain a healthy diet and exercise and I pleaded to the same oath to stay more dedicated because I believe that most health concerns that people go to the doctor for they can be treated naturally and you don't need a prescription drug and I understand that there's some people who have like um, diseases like cancer like really serious things going on with them that they need a professional opinion they need a professional to analyze them and stuff like that so I understand that but I do believe that there are some things that you don't always exactly need a doctor for I mean let me ask you a question when was the last time you went to the doctors for something that Oh, excuse me, when was the last time you went to the doctors that didn't end in him giving you a prescription drug? I mean, most of the time, you know, they'll give their own um, personal advice. Well, they'll ask you questions. They'll say, oh, well, have you tried this or have you tried that? Sometimes, some doctors will. They'll take the time to actually speak with you. But then there's doctors that are just ready to write off a prescription drug to you and how many of them or excuse me there are doctors though that will they're ready to write you a prescription drug and just um it's it's fucking late right now I'm tired as fuck but I want to get this over with but there are doctors out there that are just, they won't give you, like, say, here, to start taking, you know, this vitamin or, or this natural remedy or maybe start walking more. There are doctors that are ready to give you a prescription drug that has a whole bunch of side effects in it and it'll fuck you up even more. That's why they're always saying, oh, well, let me write you this prescription and come back within two weeks and see how it goes. That's because they want you to keep going back to the doctor's office so that they can suck up more insurance. Now, I'm not saying that all doctors are like that. I'm just saying that, you know, there are doctors out there that are like that. And I think bet people would benefit if they took the time to take care of themselves, you know. Just to take, you know, just to analyze their own selves. Like, okay, what's wrong with me? How can I better take care of myself? Because I take Smithostatin for my cholesterol. I've been taking Smithostatin for years. No problem at all. But, you know, the only reason why I'm taking it is to help with my high cholesterol. But it's something that can be easily fixed, you know. And I've been doing a good job with since I'm already, you know, exercising, drinking lots of water and making a lot of uh, changes in my diet and I personally don't even need the medication but I do feel that it helps it, t it helps to take it and I've been on the medication for say 10 years now no problems at all excuse me so I really just wanted to wrap this up and just to say thank you for everyone that took the time to actually reply to the video. There was a lot of people that clicked on the video and they're like, what the fuck is this? You know, you know, the people that actually took the time to comment on my video, you know, you people are faithful, you're true friends, and I appreciate it. I really, truly do. You know, you took time out of your day to watch the video, to comment on the video. And I think, you know, and it means a lot to me, it does. And, um, I, I just want to wrap this up and say, I want to wrap this up and get back to living my life and just spending more time with my mother. 
which I have been doing. One thing that has made me very happy is that my mother is going, you know, she's going to start walking with me more at the park. Now, she has a really bad heart, so she can only manage, like, one lap. And regardless, I'm still grateful. Because, you know, she's actually, you know, doing something. She's actually getting up off the couch and walking more. And she's already made changes to her diet. She used to love eating, um, noodles. She can't stand eating noodles anymore. Cigarettes. She never wants to buy a pack of cigarettes ever again. But my dad, he still he still smokes. You know, my mom, she still has her little nicotine fix here and there. So what she's going to do is start, you know, smoking like one or two puffs, you know, from her cigarette. She'll probably do like a cigarette a day, probably. But, you know, she said that she's just going to smoke a few puffs and then just throw it out. But that makes me happy, you know, that she, that this whole ordeal has inspired her to live a more healthier lifestyle. I'm just really glad that she's still with us today because like I said, this medication, this medication is for blood pressure, could have killed her. And I want to have some words with my family doctor about this. I'm not going to make a scene. I'm not going to raise my voice. I just want to talk to him and ask him the question. My mother has been taking his medication for a good year now. And you did not ask any type of question to her. You didn't ask her. Or excuse me. You didn't do a follow up with her on how she was doing or if the medication was uh, you know affecting her in any type of way you didn't do any type of follow-up on this new medication that you gave my mother and it almost killed her I want him to know that my mother she is going to make sure that he knows this and in the future we actually might take the time to see someone else the only reason why we go to this family doctor is because he pretty much lives three, I believe, yeah, five blocks from where I live. So it's not even that far, but if I have to travel into Exton, which is like a good ten miles or so from where I live, if I have to go to Exton to see a better quality doctor, you know, one who's actually willing to talk with me and, you know, you know, talk to me about, like, suggestions on, like, health concerns and stuff of that nature, as opposed to just, you know, ready to write up a prescription drug for me, you know? So, that's really all I want to say. There's some other things I wanted to talk about, but... It's late. It's like fucking 3 a.m. I probably can't even get any sleep. Because I've been, you know, I'm just I'm just getting to the point now where I'm just used to staying up so late. Because I've been in the waiting room for hours upon hours just awake. Because, you know, I was really worried about my mother. I was really stressed out. And I, I couldn't get any sleep. <laughs> so... It just makes me happy. It really does that my mother's doing well. But at this point, I'm just rambling. So I think I'm just going to end it here. And um, thank you. Thank you all for showing, you, sir, showing me support. Because it really does mean a lot. It does. Just a simple comment. Like even if you just you know left a comment saying, Oh, I'm sorry about what happened. You know, that means a lot more than the person who clicked on the video, right? And just, you know, clicked off it and just did their own thing, you know? So, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you all. I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Goodbye, y'all.